Welcome to the Conscious Creative Podcast, your weekly dose of soul to soul conversation that will have you saying peace out to your nine to five to explore in your sacred calling. The topics center around conscious business and interviews with the folks who started them. We'll be exploring the art of being human and what it takes to live your life fully expressed and financially free. I'm Christina Gomes, and I went from high-paying job as a psychotherapist to leaving it all behind for my desire to travel the world, playing my original music, to becoming the CEO and solepreneur founder of FreeYourCreativity.org, where I help visionary leaders create the businesses of their wildest dreams. If you have a sacred calling, stick around. My prayer is that you become the permission slip for the collective as you hear the soul-inspiring stories that call you forth into creative action. Let's get to the soul. Welcome, Jane. Hi. It is day 10 of the, what are we doing here? The Sacred Calling Showcase. And I'm interviewing my lovely client, an amazing healer, friend, sister, mom. (laughs) That's what I wanted to say. Um, wife, like you are doing it all in today's interview. I'm sure we'll touch on that, but why don't you give your, give a little welcome and introduction to the people watching. Okay. Hi everybody. My name is Jane and, uh, I am a new earth leader. I'm here to guide you, those who are feeling stuck, who are in the old world and awakening up out of it and realizing that they have a deeper calling within them, but don't know how to like get to it. (laughs) So they're, you know, I serve those who are stuck in kind of the nine to five world and know that they want so much more in their life and they're ready to stop sitting on the sidelines and actually find out what it takes to really create that life. So we work holistically and um, get incredible results because of that. We we, co- we cover all the bases. Ah, oh, that, that sounds so fun. <laughs> Thanks. I'm like a little bit like, what are we doing here? It's a sacred calling showcase, day 10, Mercury retrograde. And I just wanted to say this to everyone mm-hmm. watching, like whatever, like w- your calling, you know, there are blocks in the way. There are blocks and you can see it. You can look around. You can feel in your body, like today I felt a little bit slow, like no amount of coffee was going to help. But when we have commitment and devotion and that calling, then we show up. So here we are day 10 and you're sharing on helping people to like move through those blocks. And it sounds like in a very like spiritually minded new earth kind of way. And so I wanted to ask you, what does the new earth mean to you? Because I, I know what it means to me, but to tell the people out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, we probably all have a, our unique read on it, right? And my read is that it's a frequency that's available to all of us right now. And to me, it's like the fifth dimension. It's like the frequency of love, of trust, of abundance. It's the frequency where we get to claim our birthrights. It's the frequency where we have finally completed the lesson, like, you know, the the bulk of the really hard, icky lessons where we're truly blind to what's going on around us. And we don't know why these patterns are happening. We don't know why we keep coming up against walls. New earth is where we actually have clarity. And so we can move through the, our challenges with so much more ease and love and clarity and understanding because we get what's going on. We're not just like fighting against it. So to me, that's new earth. And there's a whole new financial system that I just downloaded the the description for that, like through my unique channel last week. So, you know, that's to me, my, my description of new earth. I'm curious about yours. (laughs) Oh, well, what was coming through when you were speaking was like, Of all the things that really transformed my life, it was moving into an ashram, sitting at the foot of a monk, learning yoga, and like seeing what was actually possible for me from Mm -hmm. that yogic lens. So spiritual development has been the thing. Without that, I would not be able to 
uh, be the leader and have a business and live in Central America, all the things that I really hold dear, um, it I like uh, attribute to that spiritual awakening, let's say. And what I'm hearing and like noticing now is like not everybody is going to drop their life and go to the ashram and sit with the monk. And what is happening now is y'all, it's like, we're the new monks. <laughs> Not, yeah. not really. We could, and you can have babies. You can have husbands. You can have cats. You can live a full, vibrant life. You don't have to meditate in a cave. But what is what I'm understanding is that folks like you, folks like all the women that I've been interviewing, folks like me as well, is we've been able to harness this like energy that in the past was reserved for monks, <laughs> and you don't even have to be a monk to tap into this energy, to live a more spiritual, full life where it sounds like your manifestations happen quicker because you're in a, a different frequency that's not as dense. Do you want to talk about that? Because I know you're a manifestation guide and you help people live their heart lives. And what do you, what do you think about that? What I just said, uh, likening you to a monk. <laughs> hundred percent. No, a hundred percent. Like in the past, it's because our earth is shifting, right? We're we're ascending. And so energies that were uh, high frequency energies are so much more readily available to us. And it's, it goes both ways. It's from the inside. It's because uh, we souls came here to awaken and to help the, the planet ascend. And simultaneously the planet is ascending. So we have more light available to us. So yeah, I totally agree with you. Like it's, it's just part of the process. <laughs> And you know what can be really painful as part of the process if you turn away from that light, if you shy away from that calling, if you, you know, if you're, that's really painful. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that we've all been there before. I, I know, I know many people who have been there and who are there now. I see them and it's like they're being called to step into a new territory. And it's so, it's so terrifying to step into a new territory. So they're in a lot of pain. Whereas wow. if they just stepped into the new territory, it would be scary for that minute. But then once they got their footing in the new territory, they would feel amazing. So that's kind of like where I've been positioned. It's like to catch those people who are ready to step into the new territory and like carry them across uh, into that new territory. That's what I, that's my, I, I gain deeper and deeper understanding of what it is I'm doing here every day. <laughs> And that's my clearest visual I've been getting lately. So Ooh, I love that so much because what's, you know, I'm a very kind of rational business minded chick as well. And what I'm hearing also is that because you actually like stepped over the edge of fear to go like, I need to work with clients that in a more deep and intimate way, because before we worked together, you had a membership, you were giving, 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 you had all these beautiful meditations, you were doing your sacred calling, but there was a call now to work with people in a more intimate way in your high value offer. And what mm -hmm. I'm sensing is that like, oh, okay, you are actually also calling in more, more light, also getting more clarity as you like, heard that nudge of like, I don't got everything figured out. I don't know what my offer is going to look like yet, but I'm meant to help people a little more deeply. And you kept your membership so people can still, you know, if they just want the meditations and the things like that, that's a good place to start. But we are all kind of getting wind of like, we need to be face to face with the other people that are meant for something big. And if they're in these different places where it's feeling painful that they have you, they can call one of us, they can message one of us, they can get some actual practical ways forward and like being witnessed and like, oh yeah, I have been there. I know that. And I wanted to ask you because um, I have a few clients and past clients that work with like physical pain for this reason. And you had mentioned physical pain and pain in the body. And I've had all sorts of, gall I had gallstones once and I know it was spiritually related. And I wanted to know if you want to talk about that part, because in this coaching world, we talk a lot about mindset. But I think you're talking and speaking to something even like more necessary and deeper of like pain in the body. So, yeah. So the, the modality that I use, that I actually use as the tool to guide my clients through 
um, heals on all levels. So pain in the body is, it can be, it can stem from so many different things. And my work gets to the the root. So the root cause, um, we reach the root cause. Oh, in my perspective, how do I break this down? So in my perspective, we come in to our body with like most of what we're going to experience. Like we have, we come in with the wounds, our, our soul is born and we are, we imprint this beautiful human body with us, our soul experiences. Then we go into childhood and the family experience and the family dynamic and everything, everything in our childhood, we set it up to reopen those same wounds so that we know they're there. So my work helps you to access the child, like the child, this lifetime, this lifetime root, mm -hmm. the root from this lifetime. Cool. We, we take this lifetime and we send light all the way back into the beginning of time, the very first time the soul experienced that wound and heal from there. And then it just like so potent. So it works on physical pain. Like physical pain is a wonderful place for us to dive into because it's showing us there's like a, there's a storage, there's a storage there, a storage of story, a storage of, um, of wounding, a storage of all kinds of stories. And so we can, we can, I love the physical pain because we can act, we can use it to access the, the roots, the roots of whatever it is. And Ooh, I love this there. so much. I love it so much because I can even say when I had gallstones, I mean, I, I don't have any pain. I'd never have an attack anymore. Like I haven't gotten x-rayed in a while, but like I had gallstones and like I was living this kind of life full of like emotional pain and like thought pain. And like, finally the body was like, right here, here it is. And everybody in the medical world is like, take your gallbladder out. Yes. And I just had this hit of like, nah, not going to do that. That seems crazy. Like just, oh, you have stones there. And like you said, it's literally a storage house for all these stories that have turned to hard stones and people are like, oh, just cut it out. And I'm like, no, there's something here. And so I went through my own process of self-healing through sound healing. And I just like, I'm not trained in Reiki, but I was like, Reiki, like whatever love and like light I could send to this part of my body. But I would not have known and remembered that I had all these kind of wounds to look at and love on if I didn't have that physical pain because I was so used to thought pain and emotional pain. I think in our society, we are, we're taught to like, no, just like keep going, just hustle through, just like have this job that sucks. And like, this is what life know. is <laughs> and like that emotional pain, everybody has to go through it. So you have to, you have to have it too. But when the physical pain strikes, then people start looking for help. So yeah, that's amazing that you work with people there. And I wonder before you were doing this work, um, because I'm sure you had to go through some things of your own before you were like, okay, here I am, a light leader, light worker. Like I'm going to help people the way that I've been helped. What were you experiencing before that? Um, so 12 years ago, 10 years ago was my first teacher training. 12 years ago was when I quit my nine to five because it was so painful. <laughs> I, I, I literally felt like a bird in a cage looking out every day. Like, I, and I remember thinking that like, this can't be my life. Like, you know, it, it was so painful for me. And, and so was the fear of what people are going to think and what am I going to do if I quit? Like, what am I going to do? There's no other options, you know? Um, and then I met my now husband who was a touring musician. That's all he's ever done. He's never earned money. He hates when I say this because he's like, well, I worked on a farm once when I was 15. Other than that, he's never earned money other than sharing his gifts. Wow. And so I got together with him and we were dating and he was just like going on tour whenever he wanted. And, doing all these fun things. And here I am like chained to this job and I'm like, this sucks. So finally I got the courage to leave my job because he invited me on tour to Australia. And, uh, I was like, 
second, like I've always wanted to go to Australia. So we went and I had no idea what was going to happen. I knew, so I was a dietitian. So I knew, and it's a very small kind of clicky world. And I knew that coming back, like I would be shunned for sure. Cause it's just the way the mentality is. So it was, it was a really scary leap, but it felt so good. The exhilaration felt so good. And so while in Australia is when I found yoga, I came back six months later and um, got offered a job as a, the manager for a yoga studio that had just opened up, which led into her wanting me to do the teacher training so I could become a, a yoga teacher, which I was really resistant to, but I was like, did it. That changed my life. In my yoga teacher trainings, I did like three intensive trainings like month long kind of thing that's when I realized I just got the aha moment I had been suffering from chronic pain in my jaw for my whole life like since I was 12 and I just got the light bulb like oh I don't have to live with this I'm I can heal this and so I committed to myself that I was going to heal it in a year it didn't happen in a year it turned into this lifelong journey of gathering my toolkit learning different modalities seeing different healers and, you know, just deepening and deepening and deepening and deepening in my own wisdom, my own well of knowledge, what's now accumulated into my own unique modality, which heals from the root and um, me finding my voice and sharing my light and living my purpose really in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I love that so much. What I'm hearing too from many of the women that I'm interviewing this week is like it it starts somewhere. It starts from that first like idea, that first inner knowing, that first like awakening of the body's wisdom and our own wisdom to self heal, and then we start gathering. And so I wanted to just say that like it is going to be an accelerated experience if you work with somebody who's gone before. <laughs> So like get into one of our worlds and you, whatever you want, will, if you want a business that you have clients, like that's me. And if you want to like start, like get move through those, those blocks, those, uh, those pains, those things, those resistances with, with someone, it is going to be an accelerated experience, but no matter what it does take time and each like output, each like one client leads to the next, like one yoga teacher training leads to the next. And all of a sudden you're this, um, like you, well, what I'm saying is like, you get to stay home and do work. You love work with people deeply and intimately and play with your cute. You have so many cute people around and beings like the cat. (laughs) How's that for you? Hey there, visionary leader. If you're resonating with this message, I'd like to invite you into your next level life and business. Enrollment has begun for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. This is my signature group container to help you design an offer so delicious, so juicy, so based on your soul gifts that you are thrilled to invite your soulmate clients inside of it. I'm going to teach you how to promote this offer with a ton of heart and to sell out this offer with ease to meet your revenue goals. I would love to have you inside if you are a visionary leader who knows that they are great at what they do. You'd like to collapse the timeline on how long it takes to reach consistent income with an offer that you truly love. Go to the link in the show notes to apply for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. I will be sitting with your application individually, and I will send an email to let you know if you've been accepted in a few days after application. Thank you for trusting me with your vision, and I can't wait to see what we co-create. Amazing. Yeah, I have two children. I have a son who's four and um, my baby's 10 months, Indy. And I mean, I just, 
I feel like I don't work, you know, because I, I don't. It's my play. It's my creative outlet. It's my joy. It's it's my fulfillment outside of motherhood, and which works perfectly with my motherhood. You know, it 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 um gives me energy and joy and um fuel helps me be present with my children because I am listening to myself you know I'm honoring that deeper part of myself and when my son was born I yeah it was different I I I had I still had a lot of trauma that that brought up and so I was working through all of that and um I had this idea that was given to me you know from my soul for the community for a few years before I finally brought it out into the world last year and um it was murky for a while, you know, I, I really had to, I, I posted uh, yesterday about how readiness is a myth, because we think that we're just gonna all of a sudden have this moment where, oh, the clouds part, and you're, I'm ready, I'm finally ready. And yes, that does happen sometimes, maybe. But for me, I don't think I've ever felt fully ready. It's like, you just have to, at some point, you just have to jump in even though you know I've been doing a few cold swims it's like you don't feel ready you just do it you just force yourself to do it and then figure it out as you go because otherwise you're just never going to (laughs) start and Mm -hmm. that's painful because there's so many like the way that I teach manifestation is that you're not going to get the next step until you take the first step And we want, as humans, our ego really wants, and we've been really trained and conditioned too. The logical mind wants a laid out plan with first this, then this, then this, then this. But you know what, honey? When you're working a soul-led life, it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't. And so a lot of the work um, that I do with my clients is to help them lean into trust. Because trust is is of utmost paramount, like it's the most paramount thing, right? When we're working, when we're starting to wade into the waters of not having a clear cut plan, but being trusting enough and courageous enough to take that first step. Because the first step leads to the next and leads to the next. We're not going to, we're not even going to believe the third step <laughs> until we take the first step, right? We're, we wouldn't, we'd be like, I'm going to be doing that. Like, what? like it would just shock you. Like nobody sitting in this, in this position that we're sitting would ever believe that we'd be here doing this work. It's not, it's not on like, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's not really like an option. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's like a, a part monk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. So this is such a beautiful conversation because even this morning I was like, what? Like I feel, I am feeling Mercury retrograde. I, this is the first time in my life I have blamed all my problems on Mercury retrograde. <laughs> because I'm like, wow. Like it really is Mercury kind of problems where my thinking brain is not mm. so like on fire, but here's what's cool is I devoted uh, 12 interviews with 12 beautiful people. Boom. I got my work done today. <laughs> like I just wake up. I just show up. Because my past self set that step, just just set that step in motion. And if you're devoted to helping people, then all you do is show up to the things that your past self and your future self have said, like deemed like, okay, you're ready now. And that's faith. That's trust. I do believe like what you were saying of how we work with past and future versions of ourselves in this, in this one moment now. And it's like, well, I don't even know, need to know exactly what my future self is doing because it's like what you said, it's like, no. And then we start like, no, that couldn't be me. Oh, what? Like this, this life, this beautiful life. Like, hello, I was living in a van five years ago. And like, I know I show off my house. I do it for a reason. (laughs) It's like, I would have never imagined So we just get to take that step. And when you're supported by somebody who like is carrying the code of trust like you, you know, and and I want to say for everyone too, like, that's why we have each other. Like if, if there's a doubt that comes into my head, I go to my my mentor. If there's a doubt and Jane hardly has doubts, but if there's a doubt or, you know, just someone to talk to, even if you're like rooted in trust, like just having someone to go like, Hey, are you sure I can keep trusting? (laughs) 
<laughs> like, oh, <yeah>. totally. <laughs> and we're just like each other's trust falls. You know, each person that you that you walk next to and co-create with um, as a guide, as somebody, as a client. And I, and I recommend if you're a guide to become a client. <laughs> like, and that's it. So you're feeling it from both ends of the work and staying rooted in the value of the work we're doing because it's so subtle. It's not like I'm up in Jane's living room, like babysitting her kid, which you know, just like, I, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're excited at any time. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it'd be fun. And it's like, right. You, it's, we, it's these subtle messages, the subtle energy that we feel like if you join Jane's co- container, you feel supported even when you're holding yourself through something. And I just wanted to say that. And I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk more about this amazing uh, program that you've put together for people, for anyone out there going like, I'm resonating. This is my guide. <laughs> So my container, as of yesterday, has just expanded even more. It's now, I laughed so hard when this came through, but your one-stop shop for um, <laughs> for your own personal healing and to become certified in modality and to learn how to go out in the world offering that modality. So it's called the Full Bloom Transformation Immersion. It's it it's I think it's going to be a four month immersion now from now on. The last round was three months, but now I've added on this certification. Um, and so the healing modality is mine. It's called the Heart Method, and it it's what we use to heal from the root. And you become very well versed in this modality through as as you take yourself through the program as as I take you through the program because you're using it on yourself um at the live calls but also in the recorded meditations and the certification part is to help you come comfortable in leading this modality so that you can take it out into the world it then becomes a stepping stone for you So that you can start a side business or jump fully into it, whatever you feel comfortable with, you know, it depends on your nervous system. But for many people, it will be starting a side business, offering this healing. Um, And a lot of my clients already have other energy healing uh, training. They just haven't taken them, taken out into the world yet. So then the second piece of the certification is where we move through specific blocks, blocks that are specific to healers. We move through those wounds, the fear of shining, the fear of um, charging money, the fear of um, what others will say, all those things, all the things that I've had to work through myself. Um, we move, we work through those, and then you're supported in um, in actually stepping out into the world and offering a modality, which a hundred percent works. And I offer like suggested pricing and all of that. And then we do the work of, um, you know, fear of, of charging that much, what charging that much, you know? So I'm super excited about it. If you can't we tell. love this so much because this came from a seed of a conversation where you're like, I think this is a certification program <laughs> and a while back, you know, and then it's like how you are fast, you know, and, uh, she's a manifester <laughs> for those who like the human design. It's like, it's fast. It's like lightning bolt. When you got an idea, you go for it. And that's amazing. This is so amazing because what I'm noticing, because I'm behind the scenes with Jane and I'm behind the scenes of people who are actually crafting valuable offers. Like I'm hearing how valuable this offer is for people. And, you know, at first it's like, oh, okay, we put this together, put this together. And then it comes like, this is more, this is more than I thought when I took that first step, this is actually a certification program. And in your expression of it, it is so, so valuable because what is more valuable to a healer who isn't like, this is why I do the work I do, because it's like, if you're a healer and you have no, or you're a healer, or you're, you're a guide and you have no one to guide, that brings pain. Yep. 
And if you have no one to guide because of your own blocks, no worries. There's a way through. Oh, this is so amazing. So how can people reach out to you if they want to get certified in the heart method and go out there and give their gifts, serve their gifts in the world? Um, you can go to my website, which is lovejanejane.org, O-R-G. Um, on my Instagram, which is just lovejaneorg, all one. Um, or you can email me at jane at lovejane.org. <laughs> it's a lot so of love. So much Jane. love. <laughs> yeah. So amazing. Wow, Jane, thank you so much for being here. I have one more question. If someone was on the edge of going all in on themselves, taking their healing gifts and serving them, quitting their nine to five, or at least developing a plan to be able to quit their nine to five in 2023, what would you say to them? I would say the world needs you. Like quite literally, earth needs you. That's what you're feeling. And just (laughs) go for it. Follow your heart. The best way, the best way to know you're on track is to tune into excitement, follow excitement. Excitement can also feel like nervousness or anxiety, you know, because it's just so much. It can also feel like fear, but follow it. If you follow it, you will never be sorry. You will be sorry. You will be sorry if you go another year without listening to your heart. That's just the thing because You could be so much further along, having so much fun. Yes, it's going to be challenging and and exhilarating. I call it exhilarating because you are stepping into the unknown. Um, But isn't that so much better than being bored and grumpy and frustrated? The boredness and the grumpiness and the frustrated is what's showing you that you've outgrown the situation that you're currently in and you need to start taking steps towards the next thing. So. So what I say, go for it. You'll never be sorry. You'll never be sorry for taking a step for sure. And I've been saying lately, like, do not bore the queen. And I am talking about like, <laughs> like man and situations. I'm like, that's boring. That's boring. <laughs> and now I, I understand why. It's like, no, I have outgrown that board. <laughs> Send it to the wolves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so fun so fun chatting with you i will see you so shortly in our business immersion group call and you have a lovely lovely day thank you so much for being here thank you so much it's been so much fun and honor yay aloha bye